In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the New Balance Fresh Foam X Vongo number no. 6. to 40 runs. Now my name is Chris Ford and when I'm not reviewing running shoes, I'm actually a running coach based here in the UK, actually an athletics coach as well. But I do like to review shoes and today we're going to be talking about the brand new New Balance Fresh Foam X Bongo number six. Okay, so mild stability, mild guidance for all you people who require a little bit of, uh, well, guidance, yeah, on your run. The Vongo 6 is out, and in this video, I'm gonna tell you everything I like about it, everything I don't like about it, and at the end, I'm gonna tell you whether you should buy it or not. Okay, guys, so where do we start? Mm, let's do stats and features real quick, and then we'll come on to those things I like and those things I don't like. Okay, so the 1080 version 13 has just launched here in the UK, and also the Vongo 6 has also just launched. Now, the Vongo is the sort of stability guidance version of this. Now, I'm a big fan of the 1080 version 13. I really, really like this shoe. And if you need a daily training without any guidance, then this is a shoe to go for. It's a cracking daily trainer. It really is. So I was excited to try the Vongo number six. I've tried the Vongo on this channel before and previous versions were okay, but they never, I don't know, they never set me alight and they never really sort of, I don't know, stood out versus some of the other shoes out there. But like I said, let's dive into the stats and features real quick. So the Vongo 6 has got Fresh Foam X. It's actually a dual layer in the midsole. Um, we've got the Fresh Foam X, the softer, newer version on the top, and then we've got a slightly firmer version underneath uh, in the bottom layer of the shoe. And then sandwiched between them is what they're calling an EVA fill. Now it's kind of like a, a plasticky plate kind of thing that's running uh, the length of the shoe. It's got some hexagon cutouts in it from the video that I saw on uh, Running Warehouse, so make sure you check out their YouTube channel. But this plate basically replaces all the sort of postings and uh, uh, they had like previously like harder pellets in, in the medial side and all this sort of stuff. What they've done with the Vongos, they put this plate in um, and it's not a typical plate like a carbon plate it's an EVA film is what they're calling it and it's there to sort of balance out the softness of, of the fresh foam X uh, and work well with the sort of bottom layer of firmer um, midsole compound as well which I think and I might be wrong is also fresh foam X but it is a firmer compound uh, so the three elements are all working together to just iron out your right so there's no uh, sort of postings or anything like that in here but you do have this EVA film that is running the length of the shoe just to balance you out a little bit. We've got a new engineered mesh. Uh, the shoe doesn't fit true to size. I'm a UK 10 and I'm a UK 10 in, in most uh, New Balance shoes, anything with Fresh Foam X in particular. Uh, but the UK 10 fits me fine. We've got a new uh, mesh upper on here, which is vastly improved versus previous versions, I would say. Just feels a little bit more traditional, but there's plenty of room uh, in the toe box for me. Uh, do we have a... Yes, we do. We have a gusseted tongue in there. It laces up real well. There's the same amount of foam and comfort that you get in the 1080 in the Vongo. It feels really nice especially when you step into it on the outside we've got the flex grooves that come over from um, the 1080 we've got the blown rubber again that appears uh, with the sort of elements of exposed fresh foam X underneath but had no problems in terms of wear and tear with the shoe I don't know whether I said it but the shoes 150 pounds it's 11.75 ounces which is heavy and we'll come on to that and I think oh it's got a reduced drop the shoe previously was an 8 mil drop but it's now been brought down to a 6 mil drop and what they've tried to do is increase some of the stack here, um, in the front and the back and what they've done is they've given it a bit of a more rocket feel as well so the, um, the drops um, come down to 6 mil instead of 8 mil and I say it's a little bit more rocket versus previous versions okay I think that's it in terms of stats and features we're pretty much there uh, Right, let's go on to the things I like and the things I don't like. So this is a mild guidance shoe. I want you to think of the Puma Forever on Nitro. I want you to think of the ASICS GT 2012. I think that's where it sits. It's, uh, I think it's a shoe that could work for somebody who is not so reliant on stability. So you don't need like, it's not like a Kayan or anything like that. It's that sort of mild guidance, that mild pronator. It will just catch you and work with you if you do need some of that stability in your shoe but it's a very clever way in which they've done it and I have to say I think it works really really well and that's one of the key likes about the shoe is how stable it is and it works really nicely with this dual layer of foam the Fresh Foam X, the new Fresh Foam X, that softer lighter uh, foam 
is beautiful. It really is cracking. And, and I say, like in the 1080 version 13, it's really a sweet, sweet ride. But they've worked it out really, really well with the two layers uh, and the EVA film working through it. It's a really stable ride and you don't, don't have any issues about floating about at all. They've done a cracking job on that. I like the upper. Yes, it's a fraction warm, but obviously it's cooling down uh, in the UK. So I like the upper. I like the amount of foam. It's a really comfortable ride. I like the lockdown. I like the laces. I like the overall fit. I appreciate that I have to go up a size, but I know that in New Balance shoes. Uh, but I like the overall fit and I like the, uh, the upper and I like the whole feel of the shoe in terms of comfort. The outsole's okay. It's um, not something I dislike. It's okay, I would say. Uh, I do have concerns in terms of wear and tear. I've had no issues yet with this shoe, uh, but in previous versions of the Vongo and the 1080, I have burnt them out quite quickly on this blown rubber, but we'll have to wait and see. It's the same with the 1080 uh, as well. It's, uh, it's not yet gone, but it's, it's close. Um, but yeah, so the outsole I don't dislike. It's better than, say, some of the stuff from Asics at the moment, but I wouldn't say it's his best feature. Okay, so the things I don't like, um, oh actually let's talk about price quick. I think £150 is, is okay in terms of pricing, that's where roughly most of those shoes are. Uh, £150, it'll probably get discounted down so you'll be able to pick it up. So that's absolutely fine in terms of the pricing. Now I appreciate £150 is still a lot of money for a shoe, uh, but it's a New Balance shoe, they tend to be a little bit more premium, so it is what it is. Okay, so the major dislike for me is the weight. It is noticeable, uh, even in hand actually it's noticeable, but I think that comes from the dual density foam, the EVA film, the thicker upper, you know, the newly designed up up it, it, it is a it is a problem i would say i wish the shoe was like an ounce or two lighter um so yeah that's that's a real bugbear for me i don't i don't particularly like heavier shoes and as a daily trainer although this is a, a guidance shoe but it is a daily trainer i would be looking for something lighter i'll be looking something between nine and ten maybe ten and a half ounces that's the sort of sweet spot so this shoe is noticeably heavier than some of the other shoes out there but that's it in terms of dislikes to be honest with you there's there's not much here to dislike i think they've done a cracking job in terms of the mild guidance um they've done a cracking job with the fresh foam x because that's just great this year it really does feel massively improved i like the upper um and i just like everything that's going on here it is a comfortable shoe to, to run in it's not something that i think you can go particularly long in because of the weight it picks up well you know it doesn't hang about um despite the weight it still feels like the Fresh Foam X is working with you to give you a little bit of, well, give you a little bit of that snap and move you along a little bit. So that's positive. So overall as a package, it's okay. It's not the worst uh, sort of mild guidance and stability shoe that I've seen. I'm just a little bit let down by the weight. But if you can get over that, then you're going to absolutely love this. Uh, is it the best stability shoe, mild stability shoe out there? No. I think I prefer the Asics GT 2012. That just feels a little bit lighter, a little bit springier for me. Uh, but you might like uh, the setup here. You might enjoy that. It's a little bit frustrating because I am such a big fan of the 1080 version 13. But yeah, I don't know. There was just that sort of niggling feeling about the weight that kind of left me thinking, hmm... I'm not sure about this shoe. But look, it's a massive improvement versus version five. I think they've done a cracking job with the shoe. Um, put the weight to one side. I think the technology in it is brilliant. Uh, I love the idea about this sort of plate to really stable out um, and iron out some of those you know, movements that we have. Uh, that works well with the soft fresh foam X. I think it, it just looks great as well, by the way. I think it looks a really good um, Vongo versus previous version. So yeah, they've done a good job here. It's a shame about the weight. It's 150 pounds, so you've got to make up your own mind on that. But yeah, the Vongo 6, I think is worth a look if you can get over the weight. That's the key for me. Uh, and I would put that back to you to find out whether you find that an issue. Let me know in the comments. Uh, and also let me know in the comments, have you tried the Vongo 6? Have you bought it? Were you waiting for that shoe to come in? But yeah. I like it, bit disappointed by the way, but I think it's a massive improvement versus the previous version.